Hi there. Do you know how to go about rolling your pension over into an annuity? Well, by the end of this video, I'll make sure you know exactly how to do just that uh, before you go signing on any dotted line. Uh, my name is Michael Malone, and for uh, up-to-date uh, annuity advice and information, do be sure to uh, subscribe to my channel here, and then also click on that uh, notification bell, so you'll be notified when I upload other new videos as well. Uh, I think as far as rolling your pension over into an annuity, probably the first and most important thing to really understand is that both a pension account and an annuity account are what are considered qualified accounts. So when it comes to investing, you have really two types of basic accounts when it comes to the way the IRS looks at the way that you're investing. So a qualified account, really the easiest way to kind of think of a, of a qualified account is a qualified account is what I like to call a retirement-based account. So qualified accounts are for retirement, and then a non-qualified account is just basically a non-IRA account. So the first thing that I want you to kind of understand when you're looking at the, the aspect of, of rolling your pension over into an annuity is that both a pension and an annuity are considered qualified quote-unquote retirement accounts as far as the IRS is concerned. Now the reason why that's important uh, when it comes to moving your fun funds from a, a pension over into a, an annuity uh, is that the qualified accounts are what the IRS considers to be pre-tax investments. So in other words, pre-tax investments just means that the money that's gone into your pension has not been taxed yet by the IRS, it's pre-tax. And when investing money into say an annuity, that's also considered uh, most often, or a, or a retirement account is most often considered a pre-tax investment, it can be. So in other words, you just want to know that the IRS is viewing the funds inside of your pension the same way that it's viewing the funds inside of an annuity. They're both considered qualified quote unquote retirement account. And you know, by the way, if, if you'd like my professional guidance as you're kind of working through this process, do feel free uh, to go ahead and click on the link down below uh, to apply to become my client. And I would also recommend that uh, once you're done watching this video, check out the other video I created, which is called is an annuity better than a pension? And the reason that I would recommend checking out that video after you're done watching this one here is to really determine if you really wanna be moving or rolling your pension over into an annuity in the first place. Uh, and I'll go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll include the link uh, to that video in the description down below just to make it easier for you to find. Now, if once you're done watching that video, you continue to kind of feel that rolling your pension over into the annuity is really the best thing for you. I want you to know, and this is very, very important, you do not want to take possession of the funds when they're moving from your pension over into an annuity. Um, and what I mean by taking possession is if you were to receive a check, um, say from your pension account, and you were to deposit that into um, say a savings account or some other type of account, then the IRS looks at it as if you took possession of those funds. So what that really means is, is that, that uh, those funds from your pension have left a qualified setting have left that retirement type of account that we've talked about just a little bit ago and that you've taken possession of that. Uh, you do not want to do that. You want to make sure that you don't take possession of the funds from your pension. And really the biggest reason for that is when those funds do come out of the pension, if you take uh, possession of them, you're going to end up paying taxes on those funds. Um, we talked about earlier how in a qualified retirement account, those funds have not been taxed yet. You haven't paid income tax on those funds yet. So what the IRS is going to do, if you do take access, you do take possession of those funds, the IRS is gonna say, oh, okay, now we have to tax you the income tax that you haven't paid yet. And if you're younger than say 59 and a half years old, on top of that, the IRS is gonna say not only do you owe the income tax on that, those funds coming out of the pension, but now because you're not at that 59 and a half year old mark, the IRS is going to potentially penalize you an additional 10% 
on the funds that you're taking out. So you want to be sure that when you are moving and rolling your funds from a pension account over into an annuity, do not take possession of those funds. So with that, you're probably asking yourself, so how the heck do I go ahead and, and, and make sure I do this correctly? Um, your first step when rolling your pension over into the annuity, the first step I would recommend is opening up your annuity account with the insurance company that you've chosen to work with. So go ahead and, and, and do the paperwork, get that annuity account open so it's ready to accept your funds from the pension. Now, secondly, you've got that annuity account now open. Secondly, reach out to the organization that's running your pension for you and let them know that you're planning to go ahead and move those funds over into your annuity. And what you're really going to want to make sure here is when they issue that check to move the, the funds from your pension account over into your annuity, you're going to want to ask them to make that check out to the name of the insurance company. So say XYZ insurance company, FBO, your name. The FBO in that stands for for benefit of. So in really, really what you want is you want that check made out to XYZ insurance company for benefit of John or Jane Smith. So again, ask your the, 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 the organization that is running your pension, make sure very clear that you'd like to have that check made out to uh, the name of the insurance company where you've opened up the annuity account for benefit of your name. And again, I, I really can't emphasize enough, even when you receive that check that's been made out that way, you absolutely positively just want to make sure you don't deposit that check in any of your own personal accounts. Making it out to the insurance company is gonna make it more difficult to do that, so you probably won't be able to do that anyways, but I just wanna emphasize, have the check made out correctly and make sure you don't deposit that into any of your personal accounts. You don't wanna have a tax issue when moving uh, the funds from your pension over into an annuity. By having the, the check made out to the insurance company and then simply forwarding that check onto the insurance company you're going to avoid any of those tax issues. And by the way, you know, again, like I said earlier, if you would like my professional advice and, and guidance as you kind of work through this process of, of moving your pension funds over into an annuity, if you'd like my guidance in that, my help in doing that, do feel free to uh, click on the link down below uh, to apply to become my client. And um, you know, if you've liked this video, please do uh, subscribe to my channel here and, uh, and share it with a friend. Thanks for watching and uh, I truly do hope something great happens to you out there today.